Is there any sound? Whoa, very loud. <laughs> well, looks like everything is working. Very bad image. Thous 1080 60p. Is it? Is it nine? <laughs> uh, boom! Some light. You see me, and the sound is okay, yeah. Beer time. Music down. <laughs> Music down a bit. Sound is good. Yo, thank you. We can take down the. This is good. And then we take down the music. Just stuffed in the background. Something like this. Okay, how are you doing, guys? Coffee machine. <laughs> okay, welcome to this live stream. <laughs> Waiting for the coffee machine. Okay, welcome, guys, to this... Welcome to this live stream. My name is Martin Botvisson and uh, we are doing this live stream because we have a challenge. Um, let me take down volume here. Over at facebook.com slash groups slash Botvisson and you will find the link below. And we have a challenge, a magazine cover challenge and you can join. Uh, this week it's what was it? Is it bag? Bags or bag? The bag challenge. Bit odd maybe, but and hard maybe. We'll see. Um, so, who's in? Elizabeth from Colombia. Hassan, Henrik, Idris, James, Greg. Good evening. Valerie from France. Leon, Mark Check. Leon Richard Sandor, hello there. Breath. And Peter Lewis is in. Oh my god, so much people. Uh, it's been a while since I saw your videos. Just finished watching the Hustle Blood. Yes, on this channel you will find photography tutorials. I shoot stuff here, so check it out. And Simone from Italy. Simone, maybe. And uh, Katerina. Katerina. 4 a.m. here. That's great. <laughs> and Dima is in. Hello there. Um, and Clemens. Hi there. Jennifer. Dallas, Texas, <laughs> in the country of the US of A. 
So Eddie is in also Gosman, TP Vision Photo, Thomas, Pedro, uh, Matthias Engfors, Sjöstaden is here. That's very nice. Matthew uh, Massimiliano. Good evening. Matthew from California IA. California IA. Uh, won't be able to stick around. I want to capture the sunset tonight. Yes, you can watch it later. It will it will be here, no problem. So Hey Mikel and Jose from Spain, Daniel. Boyan. So should we start guys? There's not so many covers this time. Cause we change the rules a bit. You need to take a new photo. You cannot just grab an old one and smash it on a cover and send it in. You need to take a new fresh photo. So we'll see if there's anyone here who submitted. Otherwise we have to improvise a bit. Cause if you're in the chat, you just write your name and then we will look at your cover, okay? El, Salva El Salvador, Jose. I like to see people from Colombia. Clee is, you're not from Colombia, Clee, yeah? You're from Österrike. I have got a cover. Clee, do you have a cover? Let's go to the group, to the Facebook group. Henrik also sent one. Henrik just uploaded it. Oh, very exciting. So, shall we take a look? I need to switch the camera to this one and I will be up here in the corner and I will look down at the photos here. Greetings from London. Mood here from Italy, right before the pandemic. Been working as a photographer since seven years, and I found your channel unique and very thorough. Thanks, Andrea. You are very welcome. I'm very happy that you you find it useful. I mean, these chaotic tutorials I'm making. Slavic. So. Where are we? Do you hear some? Is there any music? Yeah, a bit. So who's first? Uh, I posted one hour ago, the blue toned one. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's go to the the photos and here we have some stuff. You see this, yeah? Um and I will search. So, is it is it you <laughs> which who who should I pick? Simone Do you have one? Boer. Is it is it pronounced Simon or S Simon? Simon or Simone? Which country was it? Lives in Yesolo. Doesn't help me. Mats Andersson is in the house. Sha. Nice to see you. So, here we have S Simone, S Simone, Should I, can I say Simone? And it must be this fantastic cover, yes, Simone? Can I call you Simone? <laughs> uh, let's see, Bang. 
bam bam no F key and then command zero yes Venice Simon Yo likes this shot and many many others also love this shot uh, how's the live stream nowadays it's not too dark it's making it a bit darker the live stream for some reason um, Ricardo love like it too yes the story is very nice on this one so it's very refreshing to see this kind of photo. Jennifer love the mood. Yes, beautiful place. And we have a story. Is it a woman who flips off her shoes, throwing the clothes, setting the bag down and walking into the bathroom maybe? I'm ready for constructive comments too. Okay. Leon thinks it's a bit too messy for me. Mm. Very elegant. If I should add something, I'm this kind of. Uh, I, am I talking too loud? Hope it's not too loud. This is kind of close now. Is okay? Sound? Man, wait. <clears throat> Stop shaking. Very nice shot. I agree. FB says. Yes, it's a bit busy. Yes, it's it's uh, very busy. You could actually, you know use maybe a bit of shorter depth of field. Peter says, elegant, but I find the silver of the coat just a bit distracting. My eye went there first. Yes, you see this? Because uh, it's, it's the brightest part in the image, uh, except for this at the back, but it's a lot of darkness over here. So maybe you should have used a bit, uh, maybe another color, a bit darker. Yes, the light at the back is very nice. I, personally, I cannot stand when the, what do you call this? The image is not straight. You're shooting from a bit, just like you're a bit above, and then you, you do like this. And then the everything becomes like this. And I think, because this also that you shot with like 20, was it 24 millimeter, makes a bit distorted and this takes over the whole shot I think. You could really crop it down here uh, and or shoot back up if it's possible and shoot at higher millimeter, then you get a shorter depth of field, making it less uh, busy at the background. And you, you, this whole big piece, you know, takes a lot, takes over a lot, I think. And also, I will go down. Um, I can maybe show you what I mean. I mean, you know, and these shelves here with the books, it's nice to show that it's like a home, but maybe it can be organized a bit I mean we don't really need this big uh, this big one you know I will actually go like something like this probably but first if we go into yes a craftsman it's hard to tell that the bag is the hero maybe if we take a look at this which one is it 
geometry, maybe. I'm talking about this. You can go up a bit, so it's not like, maybe something like that. Boom. And then we have to make it a bit bigger, maybe. Because you, yeah, you could go up, you know. And I, you know, I, maybe it's just me, but I love straight lines. But that's maybe just me. Because if it should feel like a, a snapshot, but an organized snapshot, then it can be good that you are like tilted down. And, but I think it adds a bit of uh, luxury when you, when you, when you have straight, but that's my, that's what I like. And also I would love to have a bit shorter depth of field. Use a higher millimeter if you can, if you can back up and zoom in, if you have a, like 24 to 70, shoot at 70 or something like that. Um, what are you saying guys? Yes, the light at the back. Yeah, yes, it's a, it is, it is, keystoned a bit. Keystoned, very interesting. Easy to fix, yeah. But it would be nice to have it straight from the get go, yeah. Exactly. She went to the bathroom. It's a great story. I would uh, skip a bit below. And put the the bag maybe a bit closer. Don't have to have this much space and distorted so much. Maybe the watch and the notebook is not necessary. I kind of like them, but they don't have to be that uh, obvious. Maybe. I mean, why did I paint this? Um, is it Rolex? It looks like a looked like a Rolex Explorer, maybe. Uh, I would love to have it open, maybe. So it's like you just took it off. It looks like it's closed, or maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it's fine. And you just see a tiny bit of the shoes. Maybe I would like to have a bit more. You know, I just see this big. Where you put your feet, you know, cut it down a bit. But you know, other otherwise, I love this shot. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The colors, the light, beautiful. What are you saying, guys? Dodge the bag side near camera and burn the shirt on the chair but maybe if you take away this shirt or whatever blouse or whatever it is maybe it will be too just black 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 there you always have to think about the background I mean behind the main object so it doesn't melt in this part really melts in I would say no this part So, maybe this um, clothes could be behind the bag here, so it pops out. Because I was thinking about the background behind the main hero. So, should we move on, guys? Fantastic shot. You know, the level in this Facebook group is very high. And when we're talking about the pictures, we're talking, everything is super beautiful and nice. And we just want to take it to the top, top, top level. So we like nitpicking, is, is that how you say it? You know, these tiny details to take it to the bit higher level. Um, 
Yes, more blurish background, I agree. Be careful about overlapping elements. See the purse handle. But the story is fantastic. Yes, overlapping. Yes, I would love to go... If you have this straight line, not shooting down. You know, you really should uh, put it on the tripod and then you start styling and moving and testing and looking at all the levels. I mean, layers all the way back there. And also this, I will move this one so it's not in the, you know, this tiny, tiny, tiny details. But I love the light on the chairs here, this hitting. This one you don't really need. This is like, it's just distracting. I would just kill this, you know. So, should we move on? Martin, don't you think this is a sample of editorial instead of advertising? 100% I would say. Probably. Um, I mean, it feels more like editorial, yes. Like a story in a magazine more than this brand is not an ad for this bag brand, probably. Whole left side of the frame can be cropped out. No bookshelves necessary. Yeah. Maybe. So, hope you enjoy this feedback. Simone. And let's move to the next image, okay? Do you have your coffee ready, people? Or is it Saturday, yes? It's not Sunday. You're very welcome. Let's move to the next shot. Who put your name in the chat? Who will be the first one to put? Thomas Pedro is up next. So hold on with the writing your name. Now we need to, where should we go? Where should we go? We should go to the Facebook group. And we can do, let's go to the media tab. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Pedro. Was it Thomas Pedro? Here you are. And which one is yours? It must be, I guess it's this one. Is it this one? No, Richard Baker. I'm confused. Thomas, Pedro, which one is yours? Ah, this one, you just up uploaded, no, one hour ago. Yes, great job, Simon. So, this is Thomas Pedro's uh, bag cover, the bag magazine cover shot. First time he's submitting here. Well, you are very welcome. So, F key. I'm almost covering the... My frame is a bit too fat there. <laughs> I need to... You know, I'm Swedish. Yes, welcome to Sweden, by the way. Stockholm, Sweden. Where should I go? I should go to palettes. And I should go to the frame. Maybe we should take this down one. Does anything happen? Maybe 10? Yeah. There we go. One more week. I can move myself. Tiny, tiny. There we go. What do you guys say about this one? This is the first time I see this, actually. Wow. 
did you make this uh, background in Photoshop or is it done everything done in camera Kemi Linux I would cool down the light on the bag to match the blue a bit more mm, maybe He did it on post. I mean, in po you did it in post, yes. Post-production. That's okay. The background is made after. Did you add this? Uh... So, what do we say? I like, you know, you're matching the, the side of the bag, this blue light, matching with the background. That's nice. Speckler highlights is cool, Peter thinks. I like to see more detail in uh, in the bottom of the bag. Yes, uh, remember the live stream is a bit darker, Peter. So I wonder if the Facebook group is the same. Is it the same darkness? Yes. So we do have some details here. So it's not pitch back like the live stream. Sorry about that. It's more like, probably more like, maybe I should take this up. It's more like this, the original photo. Probably a bit more like this. I like that you don't have, that the light is kind of random, I would say. Darkness there. So it's not flat, because I, I, you know, you know me. It's pretty late here, getting dark already, Peter says. Don't li like or light the vector sparkle, too fake. Yes, this is big no-no for me too, this, what did you call it? Vector sparkle. It's a bit like welcome to the 80s. The 80s is back, but you know. Yes, I should take that away. Maybe also, cause the pattern on the bag is super busy. And also the way you're lighting it makes it even more busy. So the background is also kind of busy maybe you should blur it a bit more instead of having you just put a bit more blur maybe it's hard to, to say but uh, can we put a bit of no nah, no not that one Gaussian blur filter blur Gaussian blur maybe not that much Maybe like this. Boom, brush. You know. So it's not this sharp, because I think it's so much sharpness in this shot. You know. I just want to try to get a feeling if I like it or if I hate it. Yeah, I think I will probably go for... Because now the bag suddenly stands out, I think. If you don't have these sharp lines in the background. That's my take. What do you say, guys? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Bottom text is not separating well from the reflection. No, you should really move it so we can read this text. You, I think you just need to move the image like tiny bit up or something. 
Try adding blue on the bag's right side. Blue on both. I'm kind of like that he has only blue on one. Whoops. I need to take away this to show you that it's not so... Where is it? Oh, this is very dark for you now. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's take uh, let's take away this. It will be a bit too dark, but you will get the idea. Brush, shift. Where do I have my keystrokes app? So guys, are you are you well? What is uh, Richard saying? Better product is in focus, and Peter agrees. Thank you, guys. So, what am I doing? I'm. Um, oh, I need to show you this. I'm working on a new tutorial, and I have a new toy. I have an app here, and if I move this to this side. This monster comes in. A motorized glide track. And I was thinking maybe I can do a super deep focus stacking. You know, because I have this cable connected to the camera, to the shutter. So he would do everything automatically. I mean, uh, focus stacking and take many shots and you will have everything in focus. I'm working on it, okay? Please go away. It's so much fun with new toys, isn't it? Okay, guys. <laughs> what company makes the slider? They are called... They are called... It's, I think it's pronounced... Siapon. 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 There is the brand, Seapon, and it's called Motorized Micro 2, and it looks very short, but the thing is, it's like 50 centimeters, because it moves the camera and the slider at the same time. It's like crazy magic, you know. So we will, I will try to use this as a focus stacking device. You just put the camera on, and you, then you set up a time lapse in the app and we, we will get there sorry <laughs> where were I was I um, um, how about changing perspective has a blood work with this new toy uh, maybe I haven't tried that. Maybe I would test with Canon, but it probably will work with Hasselblad. I pay my wife to focus stack for me while I take naps. That's fantastic, Peter. Great idea. Hello from Mexico, Paco. Welcome. Great idea, Peter. So let's go back to the to this one. To the bag, the fantastic bag. And I was going to do something. Yes, yeah, someone suggested that we should have. So it's like brush tool, shift, option, C. And then we have color. And then we can we can borrow this blue. And then we just paint some blue on this side too. Did you actually have blue color gel light? blue colored gel blue color gelled light or did you add this in in photoshop like i'm doing now you can have it on both sides of course no something like this <laughs> yes. yes i used blue gel that's good Reflector with honeycomb and gel. Nah, that's not it. 
No, I think we don't really need to have it on both sides. But it was worth trying. George from India, hello there. I have seen all your videos. Wow. I think it's like 65, 7, except for the live streams. Oh. You've been busy then. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> so, should we move on to the next shot? I mean, next cover. Thank you for this one. I think it's nice, but we had some suggestions there. You can choose if you like to use them. Henrik says, mine please, but Clemens was... Or Leon. Leon was first. Uh, Leon, 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 where should I search? Where am I? Should go, can I search here maybe? Leon, what's your name? And my brother is in Prime Whiskey. If you, if you are into or want to get into really nice whiskey, like this one, the Ardbeg, which one is it? I think it's Ardbeg uh, five years. Yes, five years old. Smoky, super smoky, but smooth at the same time. Fantastic. Hello, brother. Um, Leo Bureau. Is this the one? Here we are. And here we have a bag. This is his girlfriend's bag. So, we beastie is called. Five years old, we beastie. But I don't think it's a great whiskey if you're just starting out drinking whiskey. <laughs> <clears throat> Alaisin, hello there. Nice to see you. The tutorials are very helpful. That's great to hear, George. Joe, grazie. Your course, you're drinking limoncello, yes? I love limoncello. So, Leon. What shall we say about this one? As usual, it's a bit dark on the live stream. Sorry for that. Um, yes, Joe, it's, it's too dark, but I still haven't figured out how to solve this. Um, Black Pandarin. I haven't heard about that one. So, should we look at this bag? Needs background light, Allah says. He wants to have more. There is a bit on this side. But I guess you would like to have more, so it will pop out. It be, it's on this side. It it's like it's uh, it blends in. It what's going on? Color. It like blends in with the the background a bit, so it disappears. But you have a nice side light here. You get like a rim light on this side. And this is kind of, maybe it's a bit harsh. Maybe tone it down a tiny bit to my taste. Um, yes, this is nice. And you have, um, what do you have? Where is, why can't I take this away? Undo. Is this some kind of ring maybe? Is it? It looks a bit like it's flying. Maybe that's the the goal. 
that this also ring or what is it? They're also flying. And what is this? Is it hanging up in the G there? Or? It's hanging in the G. That's very creative. Fantastic. All the things should be flying. Yes, they are flying. You know. That's cool. Yes, it makes sense. But a bit, maybe a bit more uh, light on the background, so it pops out a bit, so it doesn't blend in too much into the background. Um, and do you also have a bit of blue light down here? Or? That's fine. The button left is an. Oh, it's a bracelet for an arm, uh, arm bracelet. If it was a ring, then it would be very close, yeah, to the camera. No, the camera is just blue. Okay, I get it. Okay, thank you so much for this one. I don't have much more to add. I think uh, it's nice, but a bit dark background. Or you can add a bit light on the bag. You know, so it separates from the background. Klee. Okay. Klee, what what do you have for us this time? Let me see, let me see. Klee. What did you submit? Is it this one? Is it you? This is a self-portrait. Uh, shot on Hasselblad X1D Mark II. Did you get one? Already? Are you crazy? Whoops. F key. Command zero. Did this stop working already? Oh, it doesn't matter. So, what are you saying about this one? So you got a Hasselblad camera. So I should stop looking, Klee. I like the idea. Um, bought it new. The Mark II. Oh my God, how much is that? Isn't that a lot of money? Did you sell your Nikon? <clears throat> GH photo. No. BH photo. X1D Mark II. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. So it's this one you got. Six thousand, almost six thousand dollars. Oh my god. Congratulations. I hope you like it. No shipping to Sweden. <laughs> the irony. Yes, because we can buy them around the corner, yeah? <laughs> With Optic, I paid 8K. $8,000. So now there's no excuse to make great shots. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, personally, Klee, I'm not a big fan of this black and white and then you leave one detail. It all, always reminds me of its wedding shots, 
these black and white old black and white wedding shots and you leave the rose red you know it's uh, I, I don't know but maybe it's just me leave one detail in color but I think it's a cool shot nice pose and cool that is red hat and then you have it as a background maybe this uh, the title disappears a bit because you have like a white background but other than that I think it's cool Yo, grazie. The 90s, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I bought at least six cars for less than that. Pizza says. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like me. I'm shooting Hasselblad and I'm driving a like 15 year old Volvo. You know. What's where is the? You know. How does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, yes, the text gets gets lost a bit. That's true. If there was no frame, I could live with a hat. Okay, you don't like the... Let's see. Oops. Yeah, exactly. Me too, I think. Then I think it's very cool. I think I agree. But maybe then we... Uh, I would love to see a bit more of the legs there. You know, you should always crop in the middle of joints. You can crop a person not there, but you can crop it there. Not there, but there. Not there. There is okay, you know, and there is okay, but not the waist, you know, the legs, <laughs> the thigh, the middle of the thigh. So, yes, I agree, I'm not in love with this frame, but this is kind of cooler. But I also would love to see a bit more contrast. But maybe this is your style, Klee. I should not judge. It's just a personal preference you have, a style you have, you know, so I should not. This is my style. I would love to have a bit more contrast. It's a bit too flat for my taste. So, should we move on? Thank you so much, Klee. I think it's cool. I think it's, uh, it's really an ad for Instagram for this brand, I would say. They should love this. Or? So, what are you saying, guys? Yes, the text gets lost. Uh, all white looks great. White text on white background could look sick with minor adjustments. Yes, FB. Ricardo, try dehaze a little. If I do, if I do, if I do undo, and then I go into Shift Command A. And then we come into Camera Raw Filter and dehaze. Yeah, the colors become so so bright then, but maybe it's okay. Now I did a lot. That's cool too. Now the hat really pops out. Maybe it takes focus too much from the bag actually. Um, bah, 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 bah. Now it looks better, Tom thing. Thank you, Klee, and congratulations for your new camera. It would be a great inspiration, I think, to have a new camera. So, where are we? Who's next? Mind, please. Camilo, 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 Marquez, Camilo, Maidana Must be this one Camilo, yes This is nice one too Don't we like love this one uh, Richard 
Next one, okay? Wow, 50 minutes in already. I'm going too slow today. Candy. <laughs> yes, I love it. Kemelinux. Am I saying it right? Kemelinux. He loves it. Catch your catch you later guys. Allah. Nice to see you. Uh, that could be a real cover. The color palette, beauty, very nice, nice, typical cover page, nice composition, beautiful styling. Hey, everybody loves this. Twisted. Nice, nice, sim everybody loves this. Okay, should we move on to the next one then? <laughs> TP Vision photo, I just don't like how the glass is cut in that place. I mean, ah, oh, the glasses, yes, me too. I hate that it cut, I will move them up a tiny bit. So at least cut in the middle of the second glass there. Now it's just leave a tiny bit. Maybe it's because you tried to fit this into the cover, I don't know. So, what do I think about this one? Do I love it too? Yes, I do. I only dislike the bottom text, Leon Bureau. Yes, it makes it a bit busy, but it's... I think it's okay. I made this, this you know, this template, I made this uh, bottom text way too thin, disappear. So it was really a challenge to make it pop out. You really have to be care careful there. Very balanced, nothing extra, nothing to fix. Katarina thinks. It, uh, it gets cut in weird places. The brush, now suddenly you don't love it that much. Now you're very... <laughs> that's good. Yes, move the glass up just a bit. Highlight below perfume bottle is strange somehow. This one you mean, Peter. But I think this adds a bit. You know, you're using a small light source shooting into glass. Or is it, you think it's distracting? Could place the perfume not, to not cross the pink line. I would love to have the perfume, if I should say something. How did you create the background? Two sheets of paper or post? Can you answer that? If I should say something, I would love to have, I would love to have this perfume bottle here, I think, for some reason. Because I feel that there is it's, it's like my photo, there is a bag that fell on the ground and there is stuff falling out. You know this, if, if you haven't seen it, I can show you. This one, it's like bag, and then there is stuff falling out, you know, like a mess. Then I would love to have this a bit closer for some reason, because I don't want it to fall away, I mean, fall too far away from the bag um, but this is kind of nice but then suddenly we come to this watch that didn't fall out in that way I mean I would you know you need to have it you cannot have it straight aligned parallel with the bag because every, everything else just fell out. You should have the glasses maybe a bit closer so we see half of the other one. Everything's just falling out in chaos. And then there is a watch. Very straight and nice. This is a big no-no for me. Leon, Martin, is your photo also a new one? <laughs> Absolutely not. It's like... I, I took it, I think, when I started the the channel like three years ago but you know it's my channel you know 
I, you know, I need to pick something for the thumbnail. Um, or split the parfum in half with a pink line. Yes. I like to move it down a bit to the right. Split it, not too, uh, just not tip. You should really move stuff so it crosses. So it's not irritating. Just have a tiny bit there. Um, so, this is my biggest thing. It's too straight. Um, I would love to have it a bit. And also, the bag. Um, why did this stop working? Such a bad app. Um, if you take a look here, take the brush, black, this, have, and this distance, it's almost the same, but this is a tiny bit, looks like it's, the black part is a bit, tiny bit, it's like tiny, tiny, I think you should have it like, parallel with this sheet or I would prefer that you twist it a tiny bit so it knows so it's just not just off a tiny bit rotate the bag a tiny bit this way I would say so it's like cr not crosses straight because then it feels also it feels more like the bag was dropped I feel spontaneously and the watch and up with the glasses and down with the perfume it's hard to say why, but it's just a, a, a feeling. Um, and Fedya just tuned in. That's nice. Other than that, I love this shot. And everybody else. But it's just tiny tiny tweaks and also I would try to I would try to get like a gradient on this one if possible you're very welcome very welcome so who's it who's up next guys who's up next I think it's Slavic, yeah? Slavic, or? Or Ricardo was actually. <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo. Let's go to, no member re requests. Everybody's watching. Have you, are you in the group? All the 80 people. If not, you can join the Facebook group if you like to and submit your own covers. So let's go to media, bam, and then search for Ricardo Mecha. Is it pronounced Mecha or Mea? Mecha, Mea. <laughs> so here it is. Ah, this was. Wasn't this the first entry? Maybe. So, you don't even see the screen. Bam. Here it is. Cheers, guys. Thank you, Peter. Sebastian from Malaga. Malaga. I think I was there making a commercial. Um, Malaga. Isn't the coast like uh, on the coast down in Spain? So here we have a nice cover. Here we, ha we don't have any issue with the 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 product not 
popping out. I love making gradient on black side, but with white looks very without textures. Yeah, I understand. This is striking, real eye grabber, Peter thinks. You should stop saying bum like that, Matt says. Bum, me saying bum. Bum. Have I said bum? Ah, oh, you mean when I do like this? Bum. <laughs> Am I doing this? Bum? It's like bum. I'm a bum. Maybe I'm a bum. Maybe I should use something else. I can use, I can say boom. Swedish. Um, yes, from Spain. It was a shame not being able to share a coffee with you, Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian, I was um, doing a live stream actually from Malaga. But was it you I missed down there when I was there? Because I was waiting for my flight. Next time, when we can start travel again. The second... It's, is, it, is a letter missing there? When the T... Where is the T? Where is the T? Ricardo. Was it Ricardo? Yes? Thank you, Jennifer. Hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. Maybe not masked right. Yes, it's okay. Um, but you were talking about gradient on this. Would you like to make a gradient on the bag, you mean? Uh, uh, on the black here? Or you have a kind of a gradient on this side? Or did you? would you like to make a gradient on this part? Or what happens if we try? New layer. G for gradient. And then we can take... Should we take white? Maybe. You mean like something like this? And maybe we should use that one. Whoa. I don't know. Did you mean something like this? Or? Oops. No. I don't think you should do this. I think it's nice that you have this contrast, so it, it's not gradient actually, and you know, you have from white to this. I meant gradient on white part of the bag, on the left side, ah. But you felt it became like dark, um, I think it can be, probably it can be hard to have something there. You mean something like, then it becomes gray, you know. So maybe it's a bad idea. You mean something like this? So it's not like super flat or... It's without texture, yeah. Can you suggest me any light? I have graphic design tutorial channel. Graphic design tutorial channel. Oh, you mean light for the video? Hardik. Hardik. I like it better this way. Maybe. Nah, leave it flat. It's cool. Bum. <laughs> LEDs. LED light. Uh, I, I cannot really recommend any LED lights. I, um, I'm not so into that, you know. I mean, I have this uh, aperture lights. 
aperture light panels but i think you should get like one cell led from aperture is a great brand not super expensive but they just released a super high, powerful one but you don't need that one but they have you know whatever they are called and then you get you have it comes with a softbox you put some light from an led softbox and then you have some kind of light at the background and you're fine uh, how it looks printed george is in idea is if you have gradient on black part of the bag you should have also in the white part otherwise it's not balanced that's true how it's printed I th I guess it's printed okay but I always um, is it like burn blown out no it's not too black it's not too white then it's fine um, I think it will print well I think it's a cool idea 50 50 you know beautiful and the paper bag I love this idea not any fancy Prada bag or something so should we move on to the next one thank you for this one I love it all made on shot that's very impressive Richard Sandor do you have one who was first? Henrik. <laughs> uh, sorry guys if I missed the order here. So do we have any bum in? Uh, so let's see. Who should I pick? Was it Ricardo Meya we just did, or? So it's you, Richard. Maybe. This one. The nice. Ah, this one. Looks like you cropped the 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 sides there. It's a bit too long. It's okay. It's very in that narrow magazine so what do we think about this roller roller bag or i think it's nice light nice gradient and texture yes but you have this gradient going on from this side to that side And one thing you can have in mind that if you have, I don't know if you have, if this back uh, backlight is the uh, same light as for the bag, maybe then it's hard, but always think about, like you have here, whoa, if I put on brush, bright meets dark then it pops out same here bright meets meet dark meet dark you know bright the contrast and also up here they will not disappear because you have a highlight going on here and it's dark in the background here you're getting close to have the same and actually also here i would love to move this bright you can have more brightness on this side because you have a darkest uh, area of the bag there but on this side you have a bright side then you can use this not so much lit up you know over here so the brightness gradient starts there but not with a highlight behind it always think like that bright meets dark Add kick light. Yes, you can also add a kick light to separate, you know, you can have a kick light here from behind, 
you get like a rim light. Bum bum. Uh, <laughs> uh, puzzling. Joe. Nice gradient and texture. I like that it's not the first thing you think if you speak of a bag. Exactly. That's very nice. Uh, there's also realistic shadow. Yeah. An eye catching image. Yes. You're welcome, Richard. I, I would like the background at lower left to be softened to match the right. Extremely cool shot. Yes, I agree. Uh, probably you should have... I think Peter means that this should be the same over here or the opposite. But probably you need to, but that's because you have this light, looks like the light is something over here. So if you move this light and you have a darker edge here, then you would get this probably. But it's very nice, very cool. The only thing, um, I would love to see some color. I'm not a big fan of black and white. So, but you can always, what can you do? You can add a solid color, maybe. Which color should we pick? Should we have beige? Tan? I don't know. And then put it on hue or I don't know if probably it is gray. It was actually quite nice with this one. So you have some kind of color left. Just maybe just like that, you know, just a tad. The handle should be lit the same on both sides. Hmm, maybe. Um, so, should we move on? Uh, da, 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 da. Puzzling. <laughs> yes, I'm very puzzled. <clears throat> Henrik. Okay, thank you f so much for this one. It's super cool shot. Good luck in the voting. Um, we have to decide if I should pick the winners, top three, or if you should. Some people say I should do it, but I want to. I want you to do it in the Facebook group, voting for the, your favorite. But maybe we should have a poll where we vote for me or you. Maybe we should make one now, actually. Can I do? Can I do a super quick poll? This is the group. Uh, poll, 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 poll. There is a poll. Who sh should vote in the challenges? Maybe I should write boot with some people maybe don't know. My name is Martin. Botvidsson or the people. <laughs> Poll options. Allow people to multiple. No. Allow, allow anyone to add options. No. Post. Who should vote in the challenges? I'm the first who will put my vote in there. How can I send you an image? Ahmad says. Ahmad, uh, you can't. I mean, you have to join the Facebook group. You have the link below the video. And then join, and then you post your image there. Uh, 
whatever is fast for next theme. Probably me then, but... So, anyone voted yet? <laughs> we can actually we can take down this uh, remove announcement. People, five votes. Me, three. <laughs> this, this is a lot of fun. I hope you will win, win guys, because it's super hard to choose, I feel. So, good luck. So... Where are we? Where are we? Did we... Are we finished with that one? Yes, the bag. Thank you for the bag. Who was next? Who... Henrik, was this yours? I'm totally lost now. Let's go to... Five against three. Eight, seven. Oh my god, it's very close. If I take away my vote, then it will be seven, seven. No, eight. No, not Buddhism. I would like to vote for the people. People's choice. <laughs> so, who is next? Which cover should we look at? What cover? Henrik. What well, Henrik was yours the was was it Richards? My god, I'm Henrik. Uh, ah, my favorite. Uh, sorry, uh, I should probably not say it like this. We need to look at it like this, you know. Ah, I love this one. I'm not saying it's super advanced when it comes to lighting. It's very soft and nice light overall. But, you know, it's... For me, sometimes, it's enough with the colors, I would say. I just love the colors. I love pink. And then this blue dress. It's like a woman sitting down, setting the, the bag down. And uh, this... Uh, Spetsnäsduk, the falling out. A bit Swedish there, you can learn some. And then we can zoom in. What are you saying, guys? Um, I send you a Facebook request. <laughs> Let's take a look. Bam, bam, let's go to Facebook, home, request, for the request, yes, you, you have to agree, John, you have to agree to the group rules, otherwise I will decline, sorry, uh, oh, shit, did I take away someone, I shouldn't now, doing too many things at the same time, uh, John. Oh, I took away someone that I shouldn't probably. Yes, I agree. Can you please apply again? Yes. You have to agree on the on the rules, John. Please apply again. But I just took away someone. Perfect. Ahmad, welcome. Or was it... Uh, now we're fine, I think. So, let's go back to the group. What do you say? Oh, that lighting. You like this, Peter, this lighting? Maybe we all just took it too far. And this is just simple yes simple clean like how it tells a story instead of being flashy Zachary I agree 100% it's just so calming it's so it's so simple but calming and beautiful colors and thank you Leon
I don't know why, but the bag stands out a lot. Yes, Ricardo. I think the bag should be up a little. Then 2021 text will be on the backdrop, not the bag. I agree 100%. You could put it up a bit, so this could really be in on the on the rug here, the text. So it's, it's kind of it looks like it's it's on the bag a bit. So I would move it up. I agree. The background is wonderful. Yes, the background is a bit blurry and it's I guess it's a dress. Yes, perhaps raise the back. Yeah, I have nothing more to say about this really. It's a blue blue and this what is called this blue? Cobalt blue. Maybe. So I agree on the top text. What was it about the top text? You mean the, the bottom text, yes? Yeah, Henrik. Thank you so much for this one. Fantastic. So, let's move on, guys. Who's next? Home. Who's in the P? <laughs> don't vote for me, people. I don't want to choose the winner. Vote for the people. <laughs> so who's next? Joe Graz. Sorry, guys. Uh, Joe, grazie. And here we have a bag on a log. Is that a word? And boom or bum, Mats. Which one do you prefer? Boom or bam? Bum, bum. I need to <laughs> This with with voting is interesting social experiment people like authority is that so? Um, McCary. Yes, we will come to yours, hopefully. Uh, background should be darker, less red. Yes. Background too bright, or at least too flat for my taste. And it's too, it's, the background is too sharp, it's too bright, it's too red. I agree there. Background can be darker, I think. It's mixed with the bag itself. Yes, I really should pick another color. I mean, it blends in too much, I think. I would really like to, first of all, we can take down the, you know, the bag will look nicer, I think, if you just go for something like this. Take down the saturation a lot. And then I would, what would I do? I would go to, what would, maybe selective color for the background. You know, I would like to see more like, not this red, more like wood but not green. Maybe more yellow. 
but it's also very um, what if we do like how should we do this can I select this bag roughly and then we do like this this would be very rough oops brush where am I what am I doing you know this red I'm not a fan of this I think you should go for some kind of you know some uh, you know more like wood color I would say and darken it down also this would be <laughs> you know so it pops out a bit darken it down and uh, just oh, this is horrible but do you get my point less color um, maybe we can take this uh, just like regular wood and darken it down a bit and then it will pop I think something like that that's my recommendation take it or leave it okay um, what are you saying guys wow love it dare I say perhaps lower the bag yes it can be a bit lower it's like it's pushed up a bit on this uh, text it can be a bit lower you should have this log a bit maybe take off a bit Martin you're the boss so if <laughs> so if so if want us to vote then we vote that's good background is perhaps too busy yes I think it should be nice with a um, bit shorter depth of field higher bigger aperture I mean bigger aperture high lower number bigger aperture more natural wood color got it thanks I was just looking at a exactly what you were doing so I've learned okay great Joe that's my suggestion other than that beautiful bag nice cool so we don't have much time left guys ah one for the votes one I will pick my winners top three and you will pick your top three winners but who should then decide the next theme my winner or your winner so guys anyone else Mihai Neng have you submit your cover and we have a memory request yes I agree John you're very welcome to the group thank you so much And who's in the lead? Me. That's not good. One time winner. John. Thanks. Uh, then the two winners have a photo of, like in the America's Cup. Photo off. Playoff. <laughs> okay. Once your winner, and once. The winner from the people okay we take turns I don't know maybe we figure it out but who was next me hi do you have a do you have a did you submit a cover me ha someone <laughs> added one here now off off the clee there me ha what was your name? Mi Hai Neng. Do you have a cover? Ah, this one, yes. The blue bag on the floor. I like this one. F. Blue bag. Very nice con contrast with the complementary color on the chair, the wooden chair. You see that, Joe? Very soft, 
natural color, not this bam reddish in your face. Very soft and nice, looks very pro, I think. Natural light, question mark. Me, hi. Is it flash or natural? Looks like natural color. If it's not, then you did a damn good job. Three flashes, wow. That's really great. Do you have a behind the scenes? No? 85 millimeter. <laughs> Getting very specific here. Yes, it looks like a very soft and um, beautiful. It looks very realistic, I would say. One on the front of the bag, one on the side, and one for the background. Beautiful. It's kind of same calming like the pink bag. Yes, very calm. 85 millimeter. That's a good guess if you guessed it. Amand, yes, you know, it's beautiful, simple but beautiful, but the lighting, you know, three lights, and it makes it look like really the sunlight, daylight. I love transparency font, detailed touch. I'm not a big fan of this, but it's fine, I get it. But the texture is kind of going away because it's too white, I think. Okay. The dots on the front. So I don't have anything, you know, oops. I don't have anything negative to say at all. I cannot add, okay, I cannot, I, I love that you have this, this is really, what if we take away that one, it would be so boring, so this adds a lot, I think, to put that detail up there, in the same color range, sort of. Okay, you know, great work, I haven't... I have nothing to add. I cannot improve this in any way. I just think it's beautiful. Congratulations. So do we have anyone else? Thank you for this one. Beautiful. Anyone else still left? I think there was some kind of, you know, uh, George, are you here? Still here, George? Because this is very beautiful, I think. George, have you... Did you leave? Massi Miliano. Massi... There we are, yes. This one. Okay, let's look at this one. We have a bit time left. A bag. What do we say about this one? Often when I see this kind of this light, I feel like there it's like uh, it's um, it's very nice because you you see the background. You have it's brighter and it goes to dark and then you have the opposite on the bag bright going to dark so they meet each other and it makes it pop this is super super important you see bright bag bright background and then they go to dark so the bag will pop out from the background we have a winner Already. 
the only thing. More tabletop, less space above bag. Maybe a bit more at the bottom, yes. And Joe liked this one. I think when you see this light, it's kind of... Um, it's very bright, harsh, and then it falls off. It looks like the light is very close. I think you should really move it back so it falls off not so fast, so it's more like smooth fall off. Peter thinks also we should move up the bag. Yes, it's a bit, uh, you know, you can ha have at least a bit more space down there. What if the key had a light gradient? Yes, could have, but it's uh, a glossy part so now you can really tell that it's glossy because you have all these hard edges but if you want to have fun <laughs> I mean you can always but then it will look a bit matte probably if we add a gradient um, you know whoops but you could but it's uh, against the rules. <laughs> now it looks like it's matte, yes, not glossy. So we cannot have this. We can have a hard edge, you know. Or we can have a gradient and a hard edge. That's okay, you know. You can have a gradient, but then you have to end it with a hard edge. I know about the space, I regret it. Okay, but then you just move it up till next time or whenever. So, thank you so much for this one. Beautiful, fantastic. Maybe composite of two photos, one with gradient, yes. You can do that. Thank you so much. Do we have anyone else? Who, who was it? Uh, Andreas Fischer. Uh, media. Bam. Andreas Fischer. My daughter's vintage bag. That's great. Media, I see. It disappears a bit the, t the the text down here because it's very busy pattern and this is tiny, super super tiny text I know it's very hard and I'm not so big fan of this but I would have told you this but if you like it it's fine you know and it's like one color it's like one monochromatic I guess it's called yes that's cool no regrets. Massimiliano, thank you so much. I'm back from dinner. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. You could split the title into two lines. Split the title into two lines. How do you mean there? Martin, could you please explain why the glossy surface should have the hard edge instead of a gradient? Dimitri. Dima. Why? <laughs> could you please explain why the glossy surface should have a hard edge instead of a gradient? Because... Uh, if you... I mean, it, you can do whatever you like. If you have a glossy... Do you have something glossy? iPhone. Um, if often you like to show what kind of material you're looking at, you know, if the if you take a look at 
maybe iPhone was a great idea. iPhone 12. Um, or is it the bad idea? <laughs> iPhone. Can I have some images? I want to have some kind of example. <sighs> Maybe this. If this is glossy. You see this one. I guess this is... Is this the 12th? I guess, this is a glass background. Now you can understand that it is a glossy... If I'm going to buy this, if this was... If it didn't show this, maybe I can drag this into... Oh, not bridge. No, 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 go away. Photoshop. What? Have I totally lost it? Where is Photoshop? If it was 100%, if it was this glossy area here... Let's take away this. Now this phone, now you cannot tell that if it's a gradient on this phone, one only, then it looks matte, finish. The finish is matte. And then you walk to the store, and suddenly you see, whoa, whoa, I saw the pictures, it looked like it was matte, but then when it comes to the store, it's glass, it's glossy. Then you feel like, you know. So that's why they have this edge here, hard edge. Because you can only get this hard edge in a glossy material. So in your head now, you feel that this is a glossy, I hope. <laughs> glossy things naturally have harder edges. Yes. So it's if you like to show, you know, you can do whatever you like. You can have only gradient. I have it all the time. Only have gradients on glossy material but if you like to show the the customer what material it is that it is glossy then you need to have some kind of hard edge somewhere because then we are programmed to, to think that it's glossy matte stuff gradients glossy stuff hard edges I would say Uh, okay, sorry about that. The bag! I mean, it's a little still life set up there with the, on the background. What do you think, guys? I think it's cool, nice, beautiful. I love this, like, monochromatic orange theme. There is no good separation between scarf and product. No, it, they kind of melt together, but this is, I guess, the style they're going for. You're welcome, Dimitri. Blackbeard Tactical is in. I don't have anything to complain about. It's not so much my style. I love that the background is brighter than the bag, so it pops out. But I often light with a bit smaller light sources, so we get more three-dimensional going on. But you have a bit like brighter spot here, brighter background, that's great, you know. And the TP Vision Photo, he likes that everything melts together, so you know, it's... I think it's beautiful. Good job. Where were we? How long have you streamed for now? 104 minutes. Do we have, still have people <laughs> left? I thought it was kind of not so many covers today. So who's next? Do we have anything, anyone left? Katrina. You could perhaps see it with a MacBook. Exactly. Dimitri, you know, this is super matte finish. And you can tell there is no hard edges here. This super nice gradient, you know. 
maybe you see a bit of gradient there. Goes from dark down to bright. But then, if you keep it, if you do it like this, then it looks like the Apple logo is also matte. If you have a gradient there, you cannot tell if it's if it's glossy or not, but it is glossy. And then we should really have something like this, like that, you know. Now it's not in, sh in focus, so it will not look that sharp, but immediately you can tell that it's like, oh, there. Now it looks very glossy, because you have the sharp edge there. Okay. Thank you for that. Great. Um, Katarina. Konieva. Konieva. Was it? Konieva. Konieva. Sorry if I mispronounce it. Oh, the blue one. I like this one. A lot. What do you say, guys? Isn't this one cool? Fantastico. Uh, and would it be an idea to make the lavender more purple? Ah, you mean on the bag, the previous one? Absolutely. It will pop more. But if you like to keep it uh, on the same, it depends. But it, probably to add another color. Cool. Complimentary. I love it. Great idea with a splash. I think this is super cool and nice. What is this? Uh, <laughs> it's cool, but the shadow below the bag not match light direction. Yes, it's a composite, I guess, Katrina. It's like separate shots, I think. The splash is not made with a bag, I guess, because then you destroy it, probably. So... Do you have, like, a separate light for... The, did you change the light, or...? Do you mean that this is the shadow coming this side, and the light on the bag coming in this way? I love this light on the bag. There is something... I don't understand why it's so... I don't see really any focus on this bag. Why is that? How big is this? It's only like 1000 pixels. Ah, you made it a bit too small, maybe. Maybe that's why I don't see any sharpness, really. Or... Anyway. I love this soft light. You have a very matte product. It's very, how to say, then to light it becomes this smooth, super nice gradient on matte stuff, you know. You should always shoot matte stuff if you like to have nice photos. Yes, the shadow is a hand. Yes, there's a hand that's dropping. I love that. Alien-like hand. Very out of this world. No, it looks like, you know, four fingers at least there. I think it's very nice. It adds a lot there. Strangely awesome. Very well put, Peter. Okay, Leon thinks the hand is disturbing. Yes, I understand. Some, some like it, some hate it. I love it. And this nice splash, like you're dropping it, blue, it's like an underwater feeling, almost. Yes, the hand shadow is disturbing, but I like it. I may ha have issues, <laughs> like me, Peter. Don't we all have problems? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I have nothing really to add. Maybe if... if uh, well, who was it? Talking about the shadows. But if she didn't change the light 
in between the, the splash and the shadow, I guess. Maybe the splash becomes a bit, it looks a bit, bit fake there, maybe. It's very hard to do composite with splash, I would say. And uh, you left something up here. Yeah, you know, I think it's super cool. But um, you're lowering the opacity for the... I'm not super fan of, but almost all do it. So I guess you love this. We do not all have Hasselblad like Klee. That's our problem. Yes, if you only if you only had you don't, you can if you have a Hasselblad you can just close your eyes you know, and push the shutter and everything turns into magic you know you don't even have to put on the flashes it's amazing thank you Katrina this is very beautiful really cool shot thank you is there anybody left or Soon close. We are closing into two hours. Do we have anyone else in the chat? My bag, please. Am I the last one? McGarry Gerard. And who's in the lead? Me. Please give me some more. I mean, give the people some more um, votes there uh, Mac Gary media bum Mac Gary Gerard oh how many likes do you have on this one like 93, 94. This is, this is, this is, this is a good one. Bum. What do you say about, oh, you don't even see it. This is really nice. Beautiful bag. Very creative with the background, but as I, I wrote in the comments on face in the Facebook group I do not I'm not in love with the the lines are not straight I don't know why they're not is it is it like the, the reflective surface is it like is that why we don't have this wood wood I don't know it's a lot of stuff going on Maybe you could, maybe this should go all the way out. I don't know. I mean. Maybe it will calm it down. I don't know. You know, whoops. What did I do? I will probably go for it the whole way. So you don't have this e one more extra, but it's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, I think you should have a blurrier background. I think the surface wasn't straight, I understand. It was like bending a bit. Jelly beans. No, it's some, some kind of candy. For me, I, the, I love the color of this uh, candy or whatever it is. Why those pills or rocks? Is it rocks maybe? Yes, it doesn't really make sense. I really would take them away don't need them really why isn't why is this works like crap today Jesus what is going on a 
a real thing because it's it's a very busy photo um really destroy this uh what else um one thing i also told you about this uh, on the side here. I love this. It's a lot of texture. It looks like, I mean, it doesn't look like, I know that you're using a smaller light source. I mean, it's not small, it's a strip light. It's not small like this, but on this, um, <laughs> on this direction, it's very small. Um, and then you get this nice structure in the leather here. And you have a big light source on this side and then it becomes just super flat the leather here but you know it's the same as this L small light source big light source flat structure and i would probably i mean maybe i should you should choose one of them only small light source or big maybe have a bigger on the other side or maybe it's hard because it's like a tiny area and it's wrinkled maybe it becomes like this but even if you have a big light source no probably not because then it will it will find its way the light will find its way in to the cracks <laughs> sort of but i saw that you missed the, um, this part the lit part on this side is it should be really on, on the in the shadow too of course but I think you missed it in the comp when you comped it in um, and you see down here this is very nice uh, structure down here because I guess it's a smaller light source coming here but this almost doesn't look like leather I love this so I'm wondering how you can get this beautiful on this area but on this bigger areas, it's so much smoother. And these ha uh, hands, <laughs> handles, no, how do you call it? We hold the bag, super beautiful. Um, and also I would probably place the bag far away. I mean, have the background further away. So you get, or use a shorter depth of field, or stack only the bag and have a super blur background. I think. Uh, now I see the problem with glossy surface. Dimitri, how do you mean? You see here on the, here you can see this is a glossy lock here and also all these areas, you have these hard lines. There is no gradient going on here. Here you have a gradient because the leather is matte and this like super hard edges. But you can have gradients, but then it should <clears throat> probably end with a hard edge, you know. Whoa, we are like two hours now, guys. What do you say about this? It's super nice. I love this setup, but I would tweak it a bit. So make it less busy, I think. Um, Shadow of the can is kind of weird. Now we are talking. Then straight the lines and you have a winner. Ricardo Maya says, yes. Straighten the bottom lines there. The reflection doesn't show folds. Exactly. McGarry, you're very welcome. It's a beautiful shot. So guys, two hours. And it's getting really late here in Lasved. Martin, what is the monster lens on the left? So what is left for you? Is this left? My right, yes?
You mean it, this one? On the glide track, my new toy. This is a film lens from Canon, a Sin lens, 85 millimeter. It's a bit blurry now, I guess, because uh, I'm filming a lot too. And this is super good to use when you shoot still also, because it's a manual lens. And that's perfect for still life, you know. And you have a bigger focus throw, I think it's called. Uh, so it's easier to stack, you know, on regular lenses. I have one here, I think. <laughs> what is this? Is it 85 also? Looks like 85 millimeter. Yes. This is actually exactly the same lens. Uh, the steel uh, Canon, 85 millimeter, 1.2. And this is, they put a, like a bigger housing on this, on this lens and take away the autofocus uh, and have this bigger, because you, when you're pulling focus with a film camera, you need to have this bigger, it's easier. Um, and then they charge double, you know, take away the autofocus, charge double. And... Uh, it's super nice to focus that because you can get smaller increments when you switching the focus. So it's 85 mm thin lens. This one but a bigger housing, no autofocus manual. Thanks Martin, pick the winner and see you next time, Ricardo. Okay. Um, we need to close down now. It's 2 hours. It's an 85 mm F 0003 no but it's actually uh it's uh, 1.3 peter 1.3 yes <laughs> why not use software control focus stacking yes but which software should i use for canon and has blood um I, I haven't looked into the... I'm tr I've been trying to use the uh, um, Canon Utility, but I was testing and I, I couldn't make it work. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. And we s I see you in the Facebook group and we will see if it will be me or you who will pick the winner this time. I use open source as... W for my D33, okay. It just looks enormous. Yes, it looks a bit funny, <laughs> but cool, you know. I put it on just to, because it looks cool. Okay, guys, see you next time then. Uh, see you in the Facebook group. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to like the video if you find it useful and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i will see you next time cheers <laughs>